If you're spending time in Chiang Mai, you might wish to explore the rest of Northern Thailand. One of the most popular places to visit is Pai. In this video, I'm going to show you how best to travel from Chiang Mai to Pai. My name's Jack. I'm from JJ Adventures. I run a Thailand-based travel agency. If you don't want to have to deal with any of the stress of figuring out how to move from place to place, please get in touch for our website, jj-adventures.online. We'll help you plan your whole trip and especially we'll help you with figuring out how to get from place to place. So there are three main methods of traveling between Chiang Mai and Pai. One is to use a shared minivan. Two, rent in your own private driver. And three, rent in your own vehicle to travel between them. In this video, I'm going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of all three. Let's start with a shared minibus because that's the most used option. To go from Chiang Mai to Pai or Pai to Chiang Mai, the only tour company that operates a public bus is the Prempachar Transport Company. Each van takes 13 passengers and the one driver. It costs 150 baht one way and takes about three to four hours to complete the journey. This is the cheapest way to travel between Chiang Mai and Pai. However, there are some problems with this type of transportation. The road between Chiang Mai and Pai is notoriously windy and the drivers on these types of buses drive extremely fast. There are lots of complaints that they drive too fast and even dangerously. The road is famous because it has 762 bends in the road. Actually, once you've completed the drive, you can go to the tourist office and collect a certificate that says you've completed the 762 bends. This combined with the fast moving drivers means some people get car sick. And in fact, quite a lot of people have to stop because they're feeling so sick. Make sure you do tell the driver if you're feeling ill though, because you don't want to ruin everyone else's trip. This is a short 15 to 30 minute stop halfway where you can stop to get some snacks and a drink as well. I recently did this route both there and back and on the way there in particular it was pretty intense the driver was going really fast overtaking people i was actually trying to sleep but that was just impossible with the way he was speeding around the corners on the way back though it wasn't so bad so it's kind of a look of the draw with what kind of driver you get if you have large luggage with you they usually strap it to the top of the van so i'd make sure you don't have anything too valuable in there just in case something slips out but you are able to transport a large luggage van operates on an hourly basis if you're leaving from chiang mai the first bus is at 6.30 a.m. and the last one is at 5.30 p.m. If you're traveling from Pai to Chiang Mai, the first bus is 7 a.m. and the last bus is 5 p.m. I would make sure to get there half an hour early just so you have time to check in and get your stuff strapped in. In Chiang Mai, the bus station is located at the Chiang Mai Arcade bus terminal. And this is about a 20 minute drive from where most people will be staying, which is the old town. So make sure to factor this in before arriving. It's easily accessible by Grab or taxi though. In Pai, it's much simpler. It's in the walking street, which is exactly where most people will be staying. During peak season, it's possible that some buses sell out. I was just there over Christmas and we actually had to wait four hours leaving from Pai to Chiang Mai. So it might be a good idea to buy in advance. You can buy tickets online or from the bus stop itself. If you want to avoid the hassle of these minibuses, but don't want to drive yourself, you can rent a private driver for around 3000 baht. These drivers will drive at a much safer pace and you'll be able to stop at some of the viewpoints to catch some of the mountain views along the way. If you're in a larger group, you can also rent a private minibus. These private minibuses have better air conditioning and better facilities like phone chargers and even karaoke if you want it to. The final option is to drive yourself. Cars can be rented from Chiang Mai for as cheap as a thousand baht per day. Scooters can be rented for about 150 baht per day, but you might need a more powerful scooter than this. So usually they cost around 250 or 300. You'll probably need this to complete the drive because it's quite hilly and quite steep. One thing to note though, is that this road is notorious for accidents, especially involving foreign tourists. Because of the windiness of the road, the steepness of the hills, and how wild some of the drivers drive as they're driving past you, it can be quite dangerous. So please be careful, make sure you wear a helmet. This has been how to travel between Chiang Mai and Pai. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. If you want your trip planned for you, please check out my website, jj-adventures.online. And if you have any other suggestions of types of videos like this, how to travel between places, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much and goodbye.